I can't speak for all of the uh, the ones of all of the ones of us in the house, but I think most of us are beyond the point of denial, and I think that probably we talked about some of the reactions on last year. But I think that in some instances, it's a question that it was somebody else's problem because that was a PAC board and uh, they had the responsibility to administer the program. But I think the reality of it is, is that that's not really the case. It's, it's everybody's problem. And I heard, uh, I believe it was some of the reports back from the uh, PAC board about the famous uh, December with the 29th meeting or whatever, about the, uh, the process of institutions. Basically, I, I, in, in my opinion, that all of us are stakeholders. I think the institutions themselves are on the primary stakeholders. Now, the question about freezing the tuition and this type of thing and everything, I think that this is something that's going to have to be on the table up front. I don't think we can wait until next year or year after and then come back and try to negotiate some favorable tuition rate with the institution. <laughs> I think that, number one, we have to keep in mind that this is not the only income that the institutions are going to receive from our children. The tuition is on the small apartment. All of them, they are reimbursed by contact hours, credit hours, or whatever it means. It's not a matter that you all of a sudden open the floodgate to provide a reduced or free education to X number of students in the state of Alabama. That's not true. Because each time, one of regardless of what the tuition rate is, the reimbursement rate for that child att attending that institution, they are still good reimbursed for that. So I don't think that this is an issue that can be deferred. I think on the front end, as we go start our work tomorrow, that the institution is going to be on the front end, and if there has to be some type of adjustment starting now, because there's a number of students that the back board has to make disbursements for, and I don't think that is a reality that the institution is going to be able to be reimbursed as to what they perceive or what their expectations were because the parents are not getting that even. So if the, if the purchases of these contracts, now as far as if they are legal or if they are binding, even whatever, I think the spirit and intent of the purchases is, going to, is what we have to look at. And I don't think a single person made a purchase prior to 91 or between 91 and 2001 or after 2001. I don't think it matters. I think by the fact that, that we accepted the money, we accepted it on good faith, I think that it's, it's no question in my mind, and I don't think, and I don't, I don't try to speak for everyone, but I do think I do speak for the average person that's in this body, that we're going to treat it that way. That's the one that's over. First stakeholders, in my opinion, that had to come forth is that whatever the parameter adjustment among institutions, that they have to be on the board. Like I said, we're not taking any money because even if, you know, you say, well, okay, well, what, what about students that's on this or that or the other? But again, the primary money that run the institutions is the number of contact or credit hours that they generate, and that's not going to be compromised. You know, there may be, need to be some considerations for those that have to take an adjustment at this time, maybe there could be some future upward adjustments to those institutions that make it. You know, that's, you know, I, I really don't think that's something that's going to require a, a lot of deliberation. Um, as far as the, the various uh, resources to, to, uh, to recover the monies or to borrow against it, etc., I think I, I, we've heard several, we've heard some, uh, maybe about borrowing the money from the uh, Alabama Trust Fund. Uh, you know, the, the real problem that, that we have today, you know, how long does it take to get something like that to pull the people and for them to vote on? You know, because the clock is running. I mean, it's not, it's not for slow. Number one, we could not, it's, you're not going to get that type of vote before that we go out of session. You know, we start tomorrow. We're going to be out much earlier this year than in other years. So we're not going to have an opportunity to say, okay, we're going to pass something, and then we're going to put it out for a vote of the people. By the time that vote of the people come back, we're going to be 